Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I'm going to do a comparison of the two movies for Pet Cemetery, 1989 versus 2019, to find out which one I think that I like the best. Now, I did recently watch both of these. Um, enjoyed both of them for their different um, takes on the story, on the Stephen King story. So today I want to just kind of give a comparison of what I thought about each movie and then decide which one of these I preferred um, the best. Now, um, I had seen Pet Cemetery 1989 many years ago. Um, a couple of times I've seen it. I really enjoyed the story. Um, I really liked, I, I remember most of the story because um, it had been a while since I had seen it. But I do like the fact that Fred Gwynn was in it. Um, I enjoy watching Fred Gwynn. I've seen him mostly as Herman Munster. And so it was nice to see him in a different role. And I thought he did really good um, playing the neighbor Judd in this particular um, movie. So both movies start off pretty much the same way. We have a husband and wife, their son and their daughter moving into a new house. Um, he is a doctor and he's come to this new town, I guess, to... Um, maybe escape the big city. It really doesn't explain why they moved, um, but he is a doctor. I believe he's a doctor at a university because the few times that we do see him in both films, he is at a university on a university campus, it seems. Now, in both films, they also have a pet named Winston Churchill, which they call Church um, for short. It is a cat, a pet cat. Um, they're both, both families moved to a farm type um, house. Very nice home. So in both films, the families have moved into this nice um, farmhouse type setting um, with a lot of property, a lot of land. And at each of these homes, there is a pathway that leads into the woods. And when they go in this pathway, they do see that there is a cemetery that has been placed for all the different animals that have been hit, struck, killed on this busy highway in front of their home. So in both films, um, there is a student named Victor Pascal who gets struck by a vehicle and has a head injury. And Dr. Lewis has to treat this um, individual who does not survive this traumatic head injury. I think both films do a great job showing the, um, how bad the head injury is. It's very graphic, which I enjoyed seeing that they would do that in both films. But the student does pass away, but pretty much comes back pretty quickly as a spirit or a ghost and warns Lewis about um, the sour ground behind his house. Um, speaking of that cemetery or even what lies behind the cemetery. Throughout the rest of the movies, um, this character keeps reminding them or keeps appearing in the first movie in the 1989 version. Um, Victor comes to the daughter and also the mother, mostly the mother, um, almost as if he's whispering in her ear to warn her about different things. And in the 2019 version, I believe he speaks mostly to the children and sometimes to the wife, Rachel. So in both films, these homes are, like I said, in, um, off of a busy highway. There is a trucking company not too far away. So the big um, trucks do pass by the house pretty quickly. So they do become afraid that the cat's going to get injured, maybe run out and get killed. And that's one of the things that the daughter always is concerned about. So needless to say, the cat um, church does get hit by a truck and does die. Um, and the films, they handled this a little bit differently. In the 1989 version, the mother and the two children are away visiting her family, and the husband is left at home alone. And in the 2019 version, um, the whole family is, is there at home. So, so in one instance, um, the father is able to um, bury the cat without the family knowing about it. And in the second instance, the family knows what's going on they try to keep it away from the daughter so that she doesn't get upset about the um, the death of the cat, um, but she does eventually find out that something is not right. So in both films, when the cat does get struck and dies, um, the father and the neighbor take the cat past his pet cemetery and bury this cat in a location that is, I believe, an Indian burial ground. And when they get home the next morning, um, the father um, sees that the cat is alive and has returned. Um, in the 1989 version, the father gets scratched on the face by the cat 
And in the 2019 version, the daughter actually gets scratched on the hand by the cat. The cat is no longer the same cat that was before. Um, the daughter can actually smell death on the cat. Um, the cat looks rough, matted, fur, and all that stuff. So um, you can tell that there's something wrong with the cat. Now the mother um, in both films doesn't really like talking about death because of the way that she grew up. She had grown up with a sister that had an illness which caused um, the sister to become disfigured. Um, the, a spinal, um, I guess a spinal type disease causing the, um, the body to kind of bend and twist. So in the first movie that was shown a little bit more in detail as far as the family dynamic. Um, but not very graphic, but in the second film, the 2019 film, it is more graphic and the story is a little bit different on how this sister had passed away. Now, the mother, I think her name is Rachel, doesn't like really talking about death because of this. So anytime that their daughter has a question about some sort of um, afterlife or, some, or something to do with death, the mother doesn't really want to talk about it. So as far as the death of Rachel's sister in both of these films, in the 1989 version, Rachel's taking care of her sister um, alone at home. She's a very young girl at this time and is having to tend and feed the sister. And during that time, the sister does pass away, which pretty well haunts um, Rachel throughout her life. In the 2019 version, the story is a little bit different. The sister's still sick with this spinal um, disease and she is all twisted and bent up and instead of Rachel going to take the food upstairs to the sister because she's so afraid of her that she actually sends the food up through a dumbwaiter that's there in the kitchen that runs up to the bedroom of the sister and as she does that the sister I guess when she goes to take the food um, falls down the dumbwaiter, and that's a pretty big scare in the 2019 version, um, seeing the sister um, there whenever the dumbwaiter is opened up. Now the next big event that happens in both films, um, I'm going to talk about the first 1989 film. Um, it, is, it has become springtime. The family is out flying kites out in the field there near the house when the um, father gets distracted and the son, um, Gage, runs out into the road and gets killed um, by being struck by a big truck coming down the road. Now, of course, this is very devastating to the family. Um, the next time we see this family, they are at the cemetery um, burying their son. And we do get a glimpse of um, Stephen King in the film at this time, where he's playing the um, preacher that is um, going over the service for this um, funeral. Now the differences between the two movies is that the 1989 version, um, the little boy um, Gage is the one that gets struck and killed by the truck. And in the 2019 version, it is not the little boy that gets killed. It's actually the daughter that gets struck by the truck and is killed. So I was very surprised about that whenever I saw the 2019 version. In the 2019 version, there is a ninth birthday party for the little girl, and she's not very excited about it. She does have a lot of friends and family over. Um, she's a little upset about the cat being missing, um, but she does see that the cat has returned. She sees the cat toward the road, so she goes toward the road, and as she is approaching the road, we see the little boy following behind her. Now, if you're familiar with the first film, you're just waiting for that little boy to get in the road and to be killed by this big truck coming. But the father has actually gone down to the road just in time to pick the little kid up, the little boy up, and save him from getting hit by the truck. But what happens is the truck does end up crashing and the wreckage from the truck the wreckage from the truck actually hits the little girl and the little girl is the one that is killed in the 2019 film. Okay, one of the other differences is when the cat does come back, um, in the first film, the cat brings a, a mouse or a rat into the bathtub and kind of drops it into the water where the father is. And in the 2019 version, the cat actually drops a dead bird into the bed while the father and the mother are there in the bed. 
Um, so those are two differences between both films. So in the first movie, Victor Pascal keeps coming to the mother while she's out of town, warning her and telling her that she needs to go back home, that something is going on at home. So when the mother does finally get home after all kinds of obstacles, she does see, um, she does go to the neighbor's house first and sees that something has been going on. She sees that the neighbor has been killed. And when the father ends up going over there toward the end of the movie, he can see that the mother has actually been hung up from the ceiling and um, has died. So, you know, I'm thinking that, I don't know how this would have happened, but apparently either she jumped and killed herself or that the son has, for whatever reason, been able to, to hang her from the ceiling, which doesn't really make much sense to me. But in the ending of that particular movie from the 1989 version, um, the father has taken the mother when he found her, taken her back to the cemetery and buried her to where she comes back to life and at the end um, goes up to the husband in the kitchen and stabs him and kills him, which is kind of a weird ending. In the second 2019 movie, um, the whole family has been murdered except for the son who is actually in the car and the the dead daughter that had came back has drugged the mother and the father it's kind of confusing but they both come back and they're at the end of the movie they're all walking toward the car where the little boys inside the car which is kind of a, a strange ending so which film do i prefer um it's really hard to tell. I do like the original 1989 version, just for nostalgic reasons. I do remember seeing it and enjoying it. I do like um, the characters a little bit more, but as far as the 2019 version, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I do like, I did like the eeriness about it, the um, atmosphere, the effects. What I did not like about the 2019 version is the the ending. The ending, to me, was very. Um, kind of off-putting. I didn't really like the way that they left it with the little boy being in the car and then the family coming back to, I guess, get the little boy that was still left in the car. So what did I like best about each film? The 1989 version, I enjoyed Fred Gwynn as Judd. I thought he did a better job than um, John Lithgow did as the same character in the 2019 film. Um, I enjoyed the fact that um, the little boy was the one that got killed in the first movie. I enjoyed watching the little actor. He was, he was um, I think he was two and a half years old. Um, he had some really funny lines um, toward the end where he was um, getting the um, shot in the neck with the morphine. And just the way that he ran around and stuff, it was kind of comical. I really enjoyed that. But I do like the eeriness of the 2019 version. I thought they did a really good job with it. I just wasn't a big fan of the ending. So which film do I like the best? I'm going to say that I like the original Pet Cemetery the best. So which film did I find the scariest? I would say that the 2019 version was the scariest of the both films. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about both films. If you've seen both the 1989 version and the 2019 version and which one you prefer. And also let me know um, if you're a big fan of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I really do enjoy reading your comments.